Hello everyone, I'm Brian, and today I'm going to be doing a trailer reaction to PK, official teaser trailer number one. This seems a bit long for a teaser trailer for it to be two minutes and five seconds long. <clears throat> this is uh, a request, I do request, if you have a request, please leave it in the comments below. Please make sure to sub the dub and please leave a link, that way I know which one to react to. This says teaser trailer, but two minutes and five seconds, that's, uh, that's an official trailer. A minute and thirty is usually the average length of a trailer. So as you can see... <clears throat> I I hope that's the right one. PK. And uh, I'm a gamer, so PK usually means player killer in game, but I don't think it means that in this one, so I'm curious as to what it means. Alright, so I don't know anything about this, so let's get started. Maybe I should... Let me let me rewind that. I forgot to turn on closed captionings. <clears throat> Tipsy. Is he drunk? Namuna. Namuna samaj te ho na? Temple. Temple tha wo. Galtiyan sudharne ki aadat thi usse. हेड लाइट सी आंखें थी और फ्लाइंग सॉसर जैसे कान उसके सतरंगी कपड़े और उसका अतरंगी डांस पान देखते ही मुंह में पानी आ जाता था कहता था शहर के हर ब्रिज पर होते हैं एटीएम जितने पैसे चाहिए निकाल लो सुनसान गली में होती है कपड़ों की दुकान जो पसंद आए पहन लो लोगों ने ना उसको समझा ना उसके तरीके जितना अजीब था वो उतना ही दिल के करीब था मेरा दोस्त एक बूंद तक नहीं पी थी उसने पर नाम था पीके Tipsy. <laughs> He's cut though, you know? Like he is, like, well built. <laughs> alright, I think that's all for the trailer. Alright, let's go, let's, let's, let's go over the trailer here. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. That's, that's quite a long uh, intro for the companies. Don't you recognize me? I'm PK Tipsy. So it's putting in quote tipsy as like drunk. That's what I understand tipsy to be like, you know, you drink so much and you're kind of you're not really um well balanced, so you kind of tip over a little bit, a little tipsy. Is that what it means? Is that what PK means or Yeah, I'm not quite understanding that. Uh, I'm I'm assuming I guess he's called tipsy that's actually a, a nice uniform is he like in the military at, at least at one point in his life you don't understand what Namuna means no he looks he looks a little good oh my gosh oh look at that guy he is um, He is uh, no feet on the ground. I've seen uh, people do, uh, not in real life, but I've seen on YouTube where people, they do that where they get on their, uh, to get up off the ground, but they're holding a pole. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. He is a bit odd. It's almost like Mr. Bean-like. No. This one, a little bit confusing, it says sample. Um, he was a sample. That doesn't make too much sense. Like to me, a sample is like uh, if you there's like food out, 
and you said, you know, I don't know if I like it, I'll try a sample of it, meaning instead of eating like a whole bunch, you just grab a small piece to try it out to see if you like it or not. Or like if you order food and to say, I could get a little bit of sample of uh, some things and um, so to give you just a little bit of each to see what you like, so to try a, a small sample of it. I'm wondering if it meant, uh, means, uh, I think that there's might be a translation, translation error, meaning that he is a simpleton, kind of like he's not his brain like he's not quite intelligent he might have a learning disability I'm wondering if that's what it's meant to say like he's a simpleton like he's has a learning disability he not quite right in the head I suppose um I'm thinking that's what it meant to say because a sample to me doesn't make much sense unless it's something that you can explain to me what why he they use sample and again the definition I'm familiar with with sample is just trying small things out whether you like it or not but a simpleton is it's more along, along the lines like someone that's because that's the only thing I can I can see it be simple or a simpleton meaning that someone has a learning disability and they're not quite right in the head and that dude's staring at dude's butt <laughs> and had the fix the crease on it it has a habit of fixing yeah correcting mistakes <laughs> that cracks not supposed to be there <laughs> let me <laughs> that is quite funny oh what is he getting a haircut I'm trying to think like I ever had my haircut outside before I think I'm kind of have a little bit had a haircut not not quite like that it's usually like a inside a building that's kind of open but that's interesting way of having a haircut especially with especially this when he's trying to fix his ears and it pops out it's Mr. Bean like to me and ears like flying saucers like Dumbo I suppose would be uh, a more of a, a reference Dumbo is an elephant that's known to have gigantic ears that I believe in the cartoon Dumbo can fly because of the ears are so big Yeah, you know, kilt. <laughs> so, what made him wear that? And I don't know. Colorful clothes. Yeah, you know, there's nothing really wrong with that. Dancing in the water. I've seen plenty of people, you know, when they go to uh, jets of water that's come out of the ground to go in there and play. It's fun, especially if it's hot outside. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be terrible the rest of the day, but. For those however long you're there, it's gonna be it's gonna feel great, especially in hot and humid climates. I'm guessing this is. So basically, he was talking for some of these parts. Then all of a sudden, she took over. So basically, he just introduced himself in the very beginning. Then the rest of the time is her talking. Um, I, I believe I remember saying that's her. That's she is his friend, and they're friends basically. And I think she's intrigued by him, and maybe feel sorry. This is kind of this is terrible. <laughs> Treats the bridges like an ATM. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Uh, he used to say that every bridge at the city has an has has ATMs. <laughs> oh, so basically, uh, what I'm detecting here is every time he uh, the blind dude would ring the uh, the can, he would remove something from it. So let's see. Shook. He removed something. Shook it. Removed something, and then goes. And this scene though was kind of. Uh, yeah, that's kind of. What would you? Is this is this a place in? Uh, I don't know wherever. Maybe India, I suppose. I don't know. Like where people do this in the freaking daylight, <laughs> and on top of all of that, they group up together. Yeah, all of it. Like, is is this a legit thing? I know in like there's some American films where, you know, high school students would drive up to uh, like this mountain but they're not this necessarily this close together and it's usually like they make out not necessarily go all the way like this 
But is this like a, a legit thing in the... Uh, I, I don't know if this is in India or wherever this place is at. I'm curious. <laughs> and to be so close to each other in the middle of the day. That's the thing though, you know? I understand you go night and then you park somewhere where no one can see you, but this is just... Right, you know, exposed. <laughs> And they roll down their windows. I don't know, you know, it's kind of like you kind of want to keep it a secret kind of deal, but, uh, you know, it does get hot. <laughs> and you see him changing clothes between all the clothes he stole. He joins a band. I. is. I'm not sure who the. And what's going on here? Why did he pull down his pants? What's the point of that? I don't get it. <laughs> well, I'm obviously I'm not going to get it. I'm missing the context of that that scene, but it's just it's very very odd for Is that a wait? Oh, that's not that is not dress pants, I realize. It looks like Adidas because of the three stripes on the side. <laughs> he has a dress like he's he's dressed uh, you know, half up, um, his waist up, and then he's casual down below. That's the reason why he can pull it down so easily. I wonder if he's just changing into this, like, you know, it's not dress pants. Or did he complain? It's like, what are you doing wearing those pants, man? It needs to be, you need to be matching the top half with the bottom half. <laughs> it's like, all right, fine. I'll remove it. <laughs> Would you prefer this? I think that's what's probably going on here. It's like, look, they only see that my top my top half anyway. So there's no point in me dressing the rest of it. <laughs> oh dude. The shaking of the head, come on. <laughs> I get a headache if I do that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So what's going on here? I guess he might have stole those bottle. People understood neither, neither him, nor his ways. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I like the way he is freaking. <laughs> he's sitting there peeing and he's just looking back. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> could you imagine? I don't know. I don't know how it is. I don't know if this is a thing that happens there. And, and, and it does happen in the U.S. But it's usually people who are drunk, you know. But I don't know how many people you know that's sober that goes. Then again, he could be in the alleyway. I don't know. You know, sometimes you can't hold it and you gotta let go. But you know, usually you you try to hide in a corner where no one can see you for you to do that. But it, this looks like to me like he's in the in the busiest street possible and he's just taking a pee and it's just looking at people. Could you imagine someone peeing and then looking at you while he's peeing? <laughs> Staring at you while he's peeing? Oh come on. <laughs> and he has a radio. Cassette player. Oh man. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm 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 guessing bug spray. You gotta close your eyes, man. That's th that stuff is gonna sting, though. He has a close. He was as close to the heart as he was strange. Um, <clears throat> not sure how that phrasing is supposed to go. He was he was as close to the heart as he was strange. I'm not. Sh that's a very odd uh, way to put anything. I'm not, I'm not sure how to how to translate that. <clears throat> close to the heart I'm not sure what that means I don't there's not a an English phrase I'm familiar with uh, that what that means uh, but basically saying that like he was maybe he's very true to his heart and as he was with his ways meaning that um, he just does what he wants without any regards to what other people think basically being completely true to himself I think that's what it means if not Please correct me down below. I do I do try to read all the comments. 
Oh wait, so is that a different girl then? Um So I can't get to that part. Uh 132. Is that the same girl or a different girl? 132. It looks it looks like a different girl. I mean, when you when you change a lot, you remove the makeup and you cut the hair, a person can almost look completely different. Especially when you wear makeup, a person can look completely different. What's going on here? Oh. <laughs> Never drank even a drop of alcohol. PK Tipsy. That dude is freaking built for, uh, for, I'm assuming he is, has a learning disability. And man, I mean, there are some things, uh, like, there are some people that are just really built. And then they don't really have to try. This dude is freaking built. <laughs> you can see his muscles. Alright, let's see. Is there anything? What the heck? He was walking kind of weird. Oh no, he's not walking weird. He's just looking kind of weird. Okay, you know, that was... That was actually kind of funny. Let's see if I can get to, like, there we go, PK. Alright, so, the trailer... He didn't really speak very much. Um, it looked, There was a few odd translations that I would have to really think about what they say like the uh he is as close to his heart as he is with his w strange ways I believe it is and that doesn't make sense to me the only thing I could translate that to to make more sense is the fact that he he basically does whatever he feels is right or what he whatever he feels like you know without regards basically being true to himself <clears throat> and then the uh what was the other one? Oh god, I can't remember. And we, I just watched it. But yeah, the scene where the all the cars is—is is that like like that close in the middle of the day with their windows rolled down? That is uh, a bit odd. Now, middle of the night, you know, cars spread out. You know, that is tip. I guess kind of typical. I suppose. You know, I don't exactly see that. <laughs> everywhere or anything. I mean, that's very well known in Hollywood, I suppose. There's a, uh, like a little place that you park. At least in the movies, I've seen that anyway. I don't know anywhere around here. Um, but yeah, it looks kind of funny. I'm kind of curious as to does he actually ever talk or does he just remain kind of silent throughout the entire film? It, uh, it, again, it does look quite interesting. Um, but yeah, um, without, I guess, giving it away, I guess I could just go ahead and finish, wrap this up. Um, if this was coming out in theaters, again, I can't do subtitles in theaters because, again, if you, if you, if you fall behind in reading, you'll, you'll kind of lose some context. And if you're busy reading, you could end up missing some parts of the film. Um, so it would be a one for theaters, but if it was dubbed, even though as much as I, the trailer looked pretty good, it's not necessarily something I'd watch in the theaters. I'd probably give this a two. Um, if it was dubbed. So now home theater, uh, probably a 3.5. It looks interesting enough. It's I'm quite curious as to the story and and uh, this I guess this guy's how he goes through life because it looks like he's been through a lot. It looks like he was dressed as a military person. Or at least it looks military, especially in the the image there. I don't know if he's actually served. It's actually not that I think about it. Whenever I say serve, he kind of is like a um, uh, Forrest Gump. He he was cons he was kind of like a simpleton as well. You know, he has a learning disability, but you know he he experienced uh, at least according to the the Forrest Gump story, he's experienced a lot of things in life. So I'm wondering if this person also is kind of like that. You know, he he served in the military. He went in a ballet dance. He did a whole bunch of different things. You know, he lived this life. Um, whether it is the way he wanted to or not, you know, he, he got to experience life quite a lot. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So, so, uh, yeah, that's 3.5.
because it is again curiosity on how he lived this life and and just what he experienced and how people reacted to him and how he's just so brutally honest i guess you know he just he wasn't considerate of others and by doing so he was able to do whatever he wanted in a sense it's not to say that he intentionally was rude to other people it's just that you know like the peeing scene you know you you would consider like hey you know you're not supposed to exactly pee in the public it's well pee's nasty and you don't want to pee in public and you don't want to expose yourself in public but he wasn't considered a father so therefore he doesn't care therefore he did it but it's not to say that he that's his intention but it's just i guess he doesn't necessarily know any better but yeah all right that's all i have to say about it before i keep rambling on what about you guys? What would you rate this? Would you give this a 5 I must watch, a 4 I will watch, a 3 I may watch, a 2 I may not watch, or a 1 won't watch? Let me know in the comments below uh, and explain your reasoning why. Uh, if you like our con my content, please consider subscribing. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm still trying to adjust from solo. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.